After you. Thank you. Breakfast time. Yes. Legend. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. And two of these delicious pastries, please. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. All right, let's boogaloo. All right. If you're in Weybridge, check out Nikki's. She's all kinds of lovely. Well, this sucks. <laughs> oh, brake lights. Morning everybody, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome to Tuesday. Tuesday. It is raining, we are on the M25. On our way up to Bedford to go to a race circuit. For all you uh, guys and girls who are into motorsports, you'll know what a race circuit is. Explain. <laughs> a race circuit is a circuit -y bit that people can race around. We're going to uh, an old airfield. Oh Bedford, really? Bedford Philly Air Business Park or something. We are going up to uh, be driven around in a new Mustang or some fast car by the actual Stig from Top Gear, RIP. Yeah, Ben Collins, the actual Stig. We're going to meet him and be driven in a car by him. I'm just gonna Actually, it's just hit me. Like, that's a really cool thing to do, dude. <laughs> oh, that's mad, stoked. isn't it? I've yeah. been since the email came through. It's raining, so it should be a slippery experience in the car. Not right now, when we get there. Bedford Autodrome. Ooh. Thank you, sir. After you. Ooh. Ah. Guys, look. Oh, that's my guy. That's my guy. Oh. What is that? Oh, thank you. Cheers. Yeah. All right, we're mobilizing. Let's do this. Thanks. Oh, I think I was Ben Collins in there. Stick. Driving a GT. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be nuts. He's overtaking the fast cars. <laughs> We're going in a car with a complete nutter stunt driver. What the hell? I know, I'm so excited. Got to be a quick change over here. So uh... Yeah. Okay, sir. Ben, you ready, mate? I'm ready for you. Are All right, you ready? sweet. I'm ready. Sort in. All right, seatbelt, yeah? Probably best. <laughs> Your watch is a bit big. What do you mean? This guy. Yeah, but it's got an amazing camera, man. Is it? Yeah, it's got an amazing camera. Well, I hope you can teach me some high tech. I'm going to show you some good old fashioned tech. All right. Are you ready? Teach me how to drive. Okay. <laughs> I got to say, this is a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy, oh my god. Oh yeah! <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, okay. You're lucky that's attached, I reckon. Yeah. You're about to detach our limbs, Ben. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Get it, Ben. Get it. We're not gonna, we're gonna die. We're gonna die, we're gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not gonna have any tires left. Get him, Ben. Get him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try and catch him, but I think his car's a bit quicker. Oh my god! We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no way.
that's been in the stig. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we can get him, we can get him. Second flag, I think we won. I'm not sure. Definitely won. Oh, oh. This guy hasn't even seen us. He doesn't even have wing mirrors, does he? He's driving like he's on the M25. <laughs> How was that for you? That was fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, my word. You're going to have to give me five minutes. I'll have a cup of tea. Well, I'm glad I wore eardrums from all your screaming. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. You look a bit like Kimi Raikkonen actually in that helmet. Do I? Yeah, you've got, Thanks, got a bit man. of that. <laughs> Ever driven for Ferrari? Um, once or twice. In my dreams. I'm depositing change in your Mustang, dude. I'm sorry. Well oh, done, that was a good race. Thank you so much. I think much. we won. Yeah, we definitely won. You gotta give me one of those. Boom. Yes. Meanwhile, over here, we've got some other people joining the track. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How was that? That was yep. unbelievable. You want to clean the sea? <laughs> hey? Bloody hell. Oh, too much fun. Physically possible. <laughs> Funny. Mr. Collins, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. All these little yellow, all the little um, racing cars came out at the same time. One of them spun twice in front of us. I think probably when they saw you. That's yeah. Enough. Yeah. The white face and the, <laughs> the fingernails dragging down the window. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the marks in the dashboard. Okay. So I seriously, could you clean the seat out? <laughs> yeah. The new right, Mustang. Or you can just smell tires. Yeah. Yeah, oh man. You can't chill here, there's cars that are going to splat you all over the windscreen. Definitely want to go in these little bashes. We're going to have to come back here. Are you ready mate? Yeah, of course. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> so ready. You look like a 70s race driver, it looks like you just got a moustache. It's because I have a 70s race driver. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> no he's not. <laughs> You can go as mental as you want, because I think I'm the last I, one. I plan to. Sweet. <laughs> so if we wreck the car, it's not a problem. Not for me. <laughs> I can blame. I can always blame you. I'll just drag you into the driver's chair and That's run away. <laughs> I was going to work out what's going on, because I thought we were supposed to go out. That was amazing! What's the big hold-up? Did he cuck himself already? He yeah. panicked before I got to the end of the pits. Oh, man. I thought with all that, you know, Extra hair. Facial hair. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Yeah. But it wasn't to be. Upsets the pit marshal. Oh, really? But something's <laughs> got to keep him awake. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was <laughs> awesome. Good fun, eh? So good. How was SP? He was. Nah. A, he was. He Is was he a, a scream giant. Uh, he didn't scream. He was so no. he was so controlled. It was like um, giving James Hunt passenger ride. Really. He was oh, cool that's as, nice. He was a cucumber. Nice. Okay, Ben Collins. What is stunt driver? So, Stunt Driver's a DVD coming out for this Christmas. It's kind of like um, a TV show, but with a quirky format. So, we're reviewing the best car that, for doing a particular stunt sequence, like a Hollywood car chase. Rad. Um, there's lots of stuff blowing up. Uh, lots of modern cars, race cars, kind of you name it. Uh, and it's uh, yeah, quite a full-on action sequence. This car has to do. So, it's awesome. important we picked a real all-rounder. So, it is basically just an excuse to blow stuff up and drive fast cars. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, of course, that's what I love doing. I've, you know, I've been racing for 20 years, yeah. and so um, you know, my experience is in pushing things to the limit, and, and as a result, understanding how they really work under under stress. Um, and uh, in this show, we get to put me under a lot of stress and uh, had a lot of fun making it. So we had to film it was an hour and 10 minutes long, the feature, and mm -hmm. we filmed it in 10 days. Wow! So it was very busy. 
Um, but hopefully, you know, hopefully where was it filmed? All in the UK, this one. Awesome. But um, at some very cool secret locations. Yeah. Very I'm excited. Secret. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, so when did you actually know that you wanted to be a stunt driver? Uh, I don't know. It kind of, it kind of um, happened by accident in a way. I was very fortunate that to get my job with Top Gear way back when, um, in 2002, when I started working for them. Um, whilst racing, I wanted to go, you know, as an aspiring Formula One driver and mm -hmm. uh, racing at Le Mans and stuff like that. So that was a, a good backdrop to start working as the Stig, as the anonymous racing driver. Yeah. But, um, and that got me into filming. Um, and from there, I was incredibly fortunate to get hired on the Bond movie. Um, so I've worked on three of those now and some other great films like Batman, Spider-Man. Um, Fantastic. Just love that. Yeah, uh, dream working, job. It is a dream job yeah. because the, you get to work with these amazingly talented people from all walks of life, from gymnastics, martial arts. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was a small cog in that very big I operation. guess you can still get creative with it though, can't you? So you still have a part to play? Well. You've got to follow the script and you've got to do it told. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all mapped out. There's hundreds of people. You're filming for months on end and they've got every day and every minute planned. Yeah. How many Aston Martins have you crashed making James Bond movies? Oh, I don't think I crashed any. Really? No, I didn't. I, I was always. So, no, when you did, it was meant careful. to happen. Well, I was parked at the time and a man came up to it and hit it with a sledgehammer. Oh. Um, and that was continuity, apparently. Okay, I've got a couple of questions from my viewers. Okay, Isabella asks, when was the last time you were actually scared? Isabella, I was very scared. No, we're well, not scared. I felt sick, does that count? I suppose if you're nearly, if you're nearly being ill, uh, in the acrobatic plane, Mark, the pilot, would be very glad to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that, as if he didn't already, that I was completely green and unable to speak at the end of my filming. An course. acrobatic plane? Yeah, they, we went up in a stunt plane to research what it would be like to be under attack from something from the sky. And okay. so, uh, yeah, that was amazing. And this is for the DVD? For the DVD. Awesome. It was serious stuff. What's the biggest, most elaborate stunt you've ever pulled off? And um, that's from James Masters. I guess the, the stunt sequences, the big chases where you've got lots of moving parts, but um, I suppose one of the coolest was um, on Fast and Furious. We had, uh, well, there's loads of like, amazing stunt sequences in that. Um, but one of the fun ones was uh, drifting cars around uh, Piccadilly Circus in London. Oh, wow. So, you know, walked that. Is that five or six? So many times. That was in six. Yes. Uh, and it was this quite complicated car because it's old. Um, the steering was a, was a bit shonky, and the, you couldn't turn the steering wheel very far before it would get jammed in the wheel arches. You had to work hard for so it. So you had to work hard for yeah. it exactly. So it was old school technology and pushed to the max and uh, very high speeds, and it was great fun. Daniel Hiller, Hillier asks a bit of an obvious one, but what's your favourite car you've ever driven? Daniel's got a good question. There's many, but I think the keeper um, pick one car the whole lot. There's the Porsche Carrera GT. Yeah which is the only mid-engined car that they were, apart from the, the hybrids they're doing now. But yeah, um, yeah the V10 engine, so it sounded amazing. It was ridiculously yeah. powerful. Uh, and very, very uh, pointy, aggressive car to drive. So it kept me on my toes. Favorite moment on Top Gear? And that is from Max Green. Favorite moment on Top Gear was uh, was teaching Billy Baxter um, to do the to drive the reasonably priced car. Well, he, he again taught me- Great really. episode. He, yeah, if you've seen it, see he was the blind driver and um, had to come up with a new way to, to communicate with each other yeah. basically because I was completely hopeless at the beginning but he was incredible he memorized the track wow. um, from counting time in a way and, and we used this system to explain how much he should turn the wheel and yeah. how hard to brake which was largely from sort of swearing and shouting <laughs> to indicate how hard he should push them what a challenge um, but he was incredible and here he beat five people who could see wow and, uh, he was flat through the follow-through which yeah. is pretty epic so nice. he was doing 100 miles an hour past the tire wall. Um, and yeah, that, that meant the most to me. Um, and I think that's it. Thanks cool. so much for today. It's been Thank such you. good fun. I hope to get you out again. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, maybe with some stunt driver yeah. action. When we take on the next mission, yeah. if you think you've got what it takes, please join us. Yeah, well, well there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Cool, thanks, Ben. Boom. Oh, hey, bro, how good was that? That was the most fun. I didn't know a car could go so fast around the track. There were so yeah. many times where I was like, oh, that's it, we're done. Yeah. And he's just like whooping it around, and it's like. We literally. <laughs> we were on the so limit good. around the track with so the good. ultimate stunt driver, the yeah. stick. Ben it Collins. Get, it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't, doesn't it? Now. I feel so lucky. Let's try not to drive too fast home now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just want to chill for five minutes. Yeah, it's the off-road, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! It's the Land Rover Defender! Oh, we do that in South Africa, though. Yeah, we do. Look at that guy. We smashed that. That's the 4 by 4 Uh, That's concrete that's as well. That's just play, man. That's not Yeah, real life. we do it without instructors. We do it in real life. 
Because you're wearing all of the clothes. Stealing my aircon. Just filled up with fuel. Uh, I'm bloody fruitarian today, so that's a joke, by the way. Are you serious? That's a bargain, though. Vegetable samosa. This is my dinner tonight. First dog ever. Alfie, go. Come on. Give him a little pull. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got the snack. Got to stand up for that one. Come on. Come on. Got it. He's like, all right. Today was so sick. How good was today, SP? <laughs> on, a, on a scale of one to you threw up, it's how sick it was. Oh, yeah, it was like white girl wasted sick. Thanks so much to um, Ben Collins and his team for organising that today. It was very, very fun. There's a little bit of fluff on the lens, look. I've got a new micro muff. I'm really amped for uh, Ben Collins' DVD to come out. It's called Stunt Driver. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be visiting my friend Ivan. I'm going to be motorcycling over to him because the weather is going to be all right. And then I'm going to be saying goodbye to SP who's going home to Cape Town. Are you amped for Cape Town? So keen. Yeah. And I checked the weather this whole week. Is, supposed to be is it? Yeah. Ah, it's just coming into spring in the southern hemisphere and I'm also very much looking forward to a little bit of sunshine and vitamin D. I'm sticking around for another week. Um, tomorrow night I'm going to go and meet up Pauline and I think Jack as well and a few other interesting personalities. We're going to go have some kind of interesting meal and conversations up in London. But yeah, I will see you then. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people and try not to get lost or killed. Okay, I love you guys. Goodbye. The worst, literally the worst. <laughs> Bye, love. <laughs> Love you too, bub. Safe flight. Bless her little cotton socks. She's gonna get rugged tackled by security because she's African. Oh, Mobile yeah. users be Whoa. like. <laughs> <laughs> you consider filming in the lower quality. Well, you don't want to compromise Portrait. your. Portrait. No, man. <laughs> in like lower quality things so that your file size is smaller. No, man. We don't do. We're not all about that.